Hey everyone, welcome to Power BI Studio. When it comes to data visualization with Power BI, the first and foremost thing that we will have to take care of is the design part. So today in front of you, I have two examples to show. This is the first example and this is the second example. So it is clearly observed that the second example is looking quite good just because of the fact that there are some enhancements done with respect to the designs. So in today's session, what we are going to see is we are going to see how we can convert this squared corner KPI card to this rounded corner KPI card. So without any further delay, let's get into the topic. So I'll copy the card from here to show how we can change this particular KPI card to a rounded corner KPI card. So uh, Power BI doesn't directly give us an option to uh, get this job done, but still we have got a workaround to achieve this uh, job. So what we can do is we can go to shapes and then uh, select this rounded rectangle. So how we are going to get this done is we are going to actually cover this card with the rounded rectangle that we have actually inserted right in right now. So what we will have to do is we will have to uh, see the size of the card that we actually have. We can see it in the general properties and we can see that the height of the uh, card is 99. Let's change it to 100. So what we have over here is a card of height 100 pixels and the width of 200 pixels. So what we will do is we will place this rounded rectangle on the card so that the distance between the card and the rounded rectangle is as minimal as possible. So what we'll do is we'll change the height of the card to 130 and sorry, not the card, the rectangular shape and the width of the uh, rectangular uh, shape to 250. Yes, so we will now try to place it exactly on the card so that it is being covered properly. So now the card is totally hidden because the rectangular shape is above it. What we will have to do is we will have to send it backwards. So what we can do, we can go to we will have to select the shape and then go to format, send backward, send to back. So this ensures that our new shape is being sent to the background of the card. So what we can do next is we will have to change the color of the card that we have actually inserted. So let us change it to white and we see that the border which is not necessary for us, we can turn it off and we are not able to see the shape because the canvas background is also white right so let us change it to uh, some yeah this gray is fine so now that we have changed the canvas background we are able to see the rounded corners so what we will do next is we'll change the uh, we will turn off the borders for the cards that we have we can go to general fx and then turn the visual border off so once we do it we will be able to uh, uh, achieve the thing that we are actually looking for. So what we can do more is we can select, I mean, we can click on control and then select both the shapes and then click on control G or right click group and then click on group to group both the shapes. That is the card and the rectangular shape that we have inserted. So once we group it, the advantage of having a group is we can change the properties for both the, both the shapes together so we don't have to uh, drag and drop each and everything separately so if you had to uh, change the size into smaller you can do it you can move it in and around this particular canvas anywhere in any time so that gives us a added advantage and we can follow the similar step for the other visuals as well so with this uh, we are actually done with the video. In the coming videos, I'll be giving small tips on how we can uh, improvise ourselves on Power BI. Please do subscribe the channel to stay updated. Thank you.